Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for having me. Uh, good, thank you. Uh, yeah, huge congratulations on the show. I've already spoke to some of your 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 lovely ensemble who were uh, all very very nice and all very very excited for season three. But we're talking you kind of post release in some in some ways. How have you uh, enjoyed the show? Uh, the reaction to the show so far, and also how have you seen season three goes down? Because it seems people are really enjoying it so far. Yeah, you know this show is. Um... It's been a gift that way. Every season, we've just accumulated more interest and, and excitement from those who were already watching and getting newer viewers. That's really exciting for for any show, really. But I'm, you know, I'm proud of this show. It's it's great writing and a great cast. And as an actor, it's been a real pleasure to work on. So you know, the more people are excited, the more we get to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, you've played loads of very, very interesting, very, very diverse characters in your career so far. But what was it about Jamie that kind of stuck out? Because it seems like he, you, you get to flex some some different muscles in in the show than you maybe you have before. Yeah, I mean, he, well, the first the first thing that interested me was that Taylor had written it. I was already um, a fan of Taylor Sheridan from his writing in Hell or High Water and Sicario, and <clears throat> so I knew it was going to be good. That was already a lead in. But um, what I was gathering from Jamie that was really striking me was um, his role in this world. He's on the outside of who he's helping and he's sort of on the outside of the lawyer world, the sort of business world he's supposed to, supposedly a part of. So it's sort of, it was, a, it, was, it, was a, it was one way of looking at him isolated. And that was just gonna be a perpetual theme for him throughout uh, his the show I could tell and I thought that was really interesting in a, in a western I, I've always liked those characters in westerns you you sort of have those there's some like in Unforgiven you've got the the sort of dime store novel guy and he's your the man stuck in between and doesn't know who to be is he, does he be himself or does he act like he's a tough guy I think Jamie's similar yeah, and I guess with um, with with westerns like this, obviously you've got you've got Kevin as part of the ensemble, who obviously has made some of the best westerns out there, and and really embraced this 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 world that we don't get to see, particularly in the UK. We don't know too much about this world, but then you have Taylor, who's such a he's a writer that's so rich and so diverse, and is able to really kind of hone in on on this world and these characters. I mean, it, it must have been such a joy to to read and and then see the kind of continuation because Taylor's writing is just so so unique. It is so unique, and it's also it's also always surprising. What whatever is coming, I you know I, I've done this for a long time. I can sit in a movie and I can kind of get a feeling for where it's going, even in minor character arcs uh, throughout a, a film. It's really rare that um, you I get surprised that easily. And every script that I would <laughs> would arrive from Taylor was a new surprise, um, not just in plot but in depth of character and the way they spoke, you know, he really had an, um, there was evolution there. And I thought, uh, I, you know, that's the way I would approach Taylor's writing is the similar to the way I would approach plays, which is that it's already a finished product, which a lot of times in scripts, it's not that way, but this felt like a finished product that I had to meet. I had to find it. Whereas a lot of times in film and TV, you're, you're working with them to develop. Uh, the writer may not have, um, have gone this far but then you sort of push something a little bit further with taylor's it's more like a play and I, I'm, I'm sort of trying to access it yeah i guess as well with the ensemble because uh, some of the other guys were saying kelly and 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 cole and and gil were saying with the with the writing it's just easy for you guys to kind of to come in and 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 not just that but you as you say you get get surprised that must be such a great feeling knowing that you get all of that but also you get to spend so much time with these characters and you learn so much as you go through season after season yeah absolutely in this season in particular we have a lot of the um these secrets these um events in our history are, are going to be um revealed that a lot of people have been excited to know about because they're you know they're perpetual through the show for the first couple of seasons um especially the relationship between me and my sister and like why why are we angry at each other why you know, as people put to me, why does she hate you so much? <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I've sort of known and not known. And then the reveal for me was incredible. I thought really well thought out. And um, I think the fans are going to be very excited about that, uh, uh, that we've been able to finally reveal the depths here. And, you know, through the first two seasons, as I read, the little things that would tease it, that Taylor would do, um, now you look back at them and, and they're really... Um, they're even more special. And I think people are gonna enjoy that after they learn these things. <laughs> you mentioned there as well about, about a play. I mean, it, 
that must be great as an actor too because obviously in in movies and in, in other stuff you only get to spend so much time with a character at least you know obviously you spend many months but also on the page it's only you know 200 pages or whatever it must be so rewarding and such a great challenge to spend so much time in a character because you kind of you can't escape it in many ways especially if you go three four five seasons you almost can't escape it is that is that a, a challenge that you enjoy yeah but it's something to be careful of i do enjoy <laughs> i do enjoy <laughs> I enjoy like um, challenging material, especially emotionally, like um, what Jamie went through in season two uh, was some of the hardest uh, for me personally to deal with, some of the hardest material to go through because um, I it became clear to me immediately that this was really just full on sadness. You know, and I usually uh, you find as a, especially as a male actor, you find anger to tap into because that's a, a dominant male trait. You know, I'm sorry, I'm being general, but it's a dominant male trait that often actors will turn to when they're actually feeling sad. And I, and what I found on the page from Taylor is that Jamie is just sad. He's just broken. I, he's almost, almost giving up to that degree. And the anger had almost left. I, I, these are the kind of things that like, you don't get from your average screenplay, teleplay. You don't get to delve into that. It's usually a play and you have to spend, spend a lot of time finding that. And, um, Taylor had already been building me there through the writing. So yeah, it's like there, it's waiting for you. Like the other actor said, you, you, it's there waiting for you every day. You just got to go and attack it. And if you don't, if you don't get there, then you're, you're the one who missed it. And that's such a joy. I'd rather have that pressure than I'm not a writer. I don't want to have to come to set and be, you know, creative than that way. I'm not that, I'm not that kind of actor. <laughs> <laughs> and it must be great as well. You talked about working with Kelly and the relationship between you two on screen. I mean, it, it, it's tense and there's, there's, there's so much going on under the surface that as the seasons go on, we've learned little bits and more. But it must be great for you guys as an ensemble to, to work in that world together, particularly when you're all getting so much, you're being surprised so much by, by Taylor. It must be so great going to work every day with all those guys, knowing that you're all kind of so excited to, to see what's next. It's, it's amazing and it's also amazing to see the work that those actors then bring that day because you, um, you rarely have, uh, we, we, weren't, we don't rehearse so much um, outside of it anymore because you can over, almost overdo it that way. We did a lot of that in the first season. We did a lot of the building of the history and all of that stuff, but now you'll come into work and I wanna see what Kelly's gonna do with this writing that's, uh, that's so great on the page. And, I, and now I get to see this great actor now attack it and not not have to like fill in the holes or anything like that. It's like she's really, she, the words are on the page and she, this great actor is gonna attack it and I get to be a part of it. And that's the same with every actor because it's a really great cast and to watch what they do, the, their interpretation, um, um, I'm, it's, it's a blessing to get to see that. And I have to ask about working with, with Kevin Costner. I mean, for, for all the guys, they've, they've all said, you know, to work with him and to see his process and knowing that he's, you know, he's won Oscars and he's made all these epic films and done so much for the TV and everything else. I mean, it, it must be great in everything that you've done to work with so many amazing people. But Kevin seems like he's one of those people that's just, I, get, I bet you couldn't, all of you just couldn't wait to, to see what he was about and see just to get to work with him must have been a, a, a thrill and still is a thrill. Oh, it's definitely every day. I mean, he's a legend and... I'm, you know, he's, um, he's a, he's also a filmmaker. So it's that, you know, and he's, that's what he's really had won his awards and, and um, he's stand out in that area. And so sometimes when we're doing the scenes, his ideas cinematically are so great. And so um, at this once classic, but at the same time made a fresh in this show, he's a, uh, um, uh, it's a real, yeah, that's a real pleasure to watch him uh, do that and learn from him in that way. I'm not, I'm not don't have that instinct of the cinematic of the camera. I've, I've, have, I've had to learn that over my career and um, how to use that for your performance rather than it just be there, you know. And so Kevin's a, one of those masters at that, you know. And so it's, it's great to see him do that every day. Yeah. I remember I spoke to the other guys as well about about this, but Cole was 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 quite uh, nice about it. And I said to him, you know, you're going to miss your character if you're playing for three seasons, if you're playing for 10 seasons. And he said if he spent 10 years playing this character in this world, he would be happy to just not do anything ever again because it's just such a <laughs> such a rich thing. I mean, is this a character that you're going to you're going to miss when it's over, even if you, you know, obviously you you'll go, you might go for more seasons yet, given this, the success. But all, all, all good things come to an end at some point. Is this a character you're going to miss? And do you think you'll keep a bit of him with you always now that, that, that he will always be kind of ingrained in you in some way 
Yeah, I mean, all of the really strong, strongly written characters and, and characters who've had such huge events happen to them, they've all stuck with me a little bit. Um, but but if I'm going to be doing this for a few years, and so this this one will be with me forever. So I'm not going to think about missing him. <laughs> He'll be with me forever, long after everyone's watching something else. And um, that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's like I, characters, as for me as an actor, are like people I meet. They're like out on the street, I meet some interesting people, right? And they always stay with me, especially the ones who have some incredible story to tell. And that's a character. Some of them closer than others, some of them too close. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think that's, uh, you know, that's, that's, sorry, I thought someone was going to my door. That's, that's really a, um, one of the gifts of acting. It can be one of the challenges because I'm big on cutting off, uh, cutting that off at the front door when I come home. I'm, I like to be a dad too, but I think it's, a very different thing to be a dad than be the kind of actor I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just as a, just a final question then, I mean, you've been lucky enough to work with, with Taylor, you worked with Sam Mendes, Christopher Nolan as well on Interstellar. I mean, if you must have enjoyed being able to work with so many different filmmakers and in so many different films. I mean, that must be the kind of the joy of your career and that you get so much, you get the joy of having so much variety. I mean, are you still enjoying that getting to go and do, you know, something like this, but then going to do something like Interstellar or doing something like American Beauty at the beginning of your career? That must be, it must keep you so excited. Yeah. Doing what you do. Oh, it does. It does. I've been very, very lucky. I've had a very, I, you know, I wanted diversity in my career of roles and, but I also wanted diversity of artistic experience and, I mean, in one or two year period, I was working with Terrence Malick and Christopher Nolan in the same span, and they're very different filmmakers, both equally amazing. And so I, you know, that's my kind of, that's my, been my experience and I'm definitely lucky and privileged to um, have been able to do that. And yeah, it keeps me going. Cause I, I like that in life. I like variety. Yeah, for sure. Listen, it's been absolutely amazing talking to you. Absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck with uh, season three and maybe season four, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Scott, thanks so much. No worries. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.